brought to you Tunisian Crochet, the mesh stitch. For this tutorial, you'll need a Tunisian crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Southwest Trading Company, for providing today's yarn. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, Tunisian simple stitch, yarn over. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in any even number of stitches. Stitch. We are going to do a foundation row as we would for the Tunisian simple stitch. So we're just going to insert our hook and draw through a loop into each chain stitch for the forward pass. And for our return pass, we will chain one and then work off in pairs all the way across until the end of the row. Row one. We're going to begin our forward pass by skipping the first stitch, that's this one right here, and then we are going to insert our hook into the next stitch to do a Tunisian simple stitch. Now we're going to start our repeat by doing a yarn over, so we're just bringing the yarn over the hook from back to front, then we're going to pick up a loop into the next stitch. So we're going to skip this stitch as we yarn over and the next stitch we will pick up a loop like the Tunisian simple stitch and we'll repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. Make sure that you're skipping the stitch when you do your yarn over. Now for our return pass we're going to work this the same as we would for our Tunisian simple stitch. When we work off in pairs, we're going to treat each loop that's on our hook as a loop. So even if it's a yarn over, we're going to count this as a loop. So we'll work off in pairs all the way across. Row two. For our forward pass, we're going to skip the first stitch, then we're going to yarn over and skip the next stitch. Okay, that's this one right here. Then we will do a Tunisian simple stitch into the next slanted strand. So this is the yarn over from the row before, that's this one right here. So we're gonna yarn over and draw through a loop here, and we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of this pass. So just make sure you're picking up that slanted stitch where the gap is, okay? You can see it's right right here. Oops, forgot our yarn over there. Don't forget that. And to finish up this row uh, or this pass, we're going to do a Tunisian simple stitch into the last stitch in our row. It's right here on the end. Okay, now we can start our return pass. So again, we're going to work this like our Tunisian simple stitch, chain one to begin with, and then we'll work off in pairs, treating the yarn over as its own stitch all the way across. Row three. We're going to begin our forward pass by skipping the first stitch. That's this one right here at the beginning. Then we're going to insert our hook into the next yarn over right here from the previous row and we're going to pick up a loop. Then we're going to yarn over and we're going, this will start our repeat. So we'll yarn over and pick up a loop into the next yarn over from the previous row all the way across until the last stitch in this pass. And when we get to the last stitch in this pass, we're going to do a Tunisian simple stitch into the next stitch. Now we can work our return pass. So we will work this as the Tunisian simple stitch chain one, and then we'll work off in pairs for each stitch on our hook. Now, again, we're going to retreat the yarn overs as if they were a full stitch for 
the return pass here. So we're going to repeat rows two and three, both the forward and return pass, until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you Tunisian crochet the mesh. And that's how you Tunisian crochet the mesh stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com slash VIP.